Hallelujah. My name is Evangelist Michael Ifo from Enugu Akwachi. I've been working and going about preaching the word of God. At the time, I could not get myself in that if I want to speak A, I will speak B. If I want to speak B, I will speak C. But today, the Lord has touched me. Praise the Lord. The Lord touched me now that I recognize what I am saying and I understand what I'm saying. When the man, when the man of God was praying, my hands were shivering. My body was shivering. And later, I could not withhold it. And then I begin to turn around. From turning around, I was able to come out to the auditorium. So I'm praising the Lord for what he has done for me because my brain is now back, not as it was like before. In Jesus' name. Put your hand together for Jesus. Amen. He said he was going about preaching, but he was struck with kind of brain problem. Doesn't understand what he's saying. He wants to say something he will be saying another. But after the prayer of the man of God, he said, my brain returned to me. And your health has returned to you. Whatever you are not able to do before, begin to do it now. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Somebody please explain those who that did the interview explain what happened, please. She that was a case of food poisoning. She went to market and bought buns and ate it. Since that time, her stomach, her systems began to trouble her. She went places looking for help and she couldn't be helped or she came here. And the pastor was ministering, he I'm praying. She placed her, her hands on her stomach, and after the prayers, she's now perfectly okay. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Amen. The next testifier, please. I'm living here in Enugu, just behind New Heaven Secondary School there. My testimony is this. 
I came back from market this afternoon. I met my husband unconscious. He couldn't recognize himself. He couldn't stand. He couldn't walk. Praise the Lord. I found one of our brother in the Lord who came here already. I asked him, please, come back to my house quickly. My husband is dying. The young man rushed to my house. We carried him to the vehicle. We helped him, two people were holding him to the vehicle. My testimony is this. After prayer of daddy, he was able to stand on his feet. And even as he is now, he can walk without my help. I didn't thank God who has done this thing for me. May the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord took it away. You can see him walking already. And what God did for him, he has done for you. Check yourself. As you discard your miracle, please come to all seats. We are still expecting you. Come and share your own testimony. He did my. He did my. He did my. Chineke, he did my. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good to my soul. You are good. You are good. Amen. I don't know if we have any testimony from the online or do we continue here? We have testimonies online. We'll take a live testimony from Calabar, where the train of the crusade came from. Hear the testimony live from Calabar. Praise the Lord. Praise, and praise the Lord. I'm so happy to stand here to share my testimony. By the grace of God, I'm Sister Kai Temon Dubo. I, come, my, I am from Federal Housing District, Calabar region. I want to thank God that God healed me during the uh, signs and wonders uh, crusade we had here in Calabar. What happened was that I have been having this ulcer since 1970. Immediately after the war, the thing started. I have been passing through a lot of problems. It's over 50 years now. I've been passing through a lot of problems. I mean, all that that was bleeding. Each time it starts, I will be vomiting blood. But to the glory of God, I have been, I, I, I know I am born again by the grace of God. And I have been praying over it. But during the uh, signs and wonders crusade, the thing before that week, I was always having my gestate alongside with me. So every day, I take two bottles of gestate, and it did not stop. Even the very day the crusade started, I was still on gestate. But to the glory of God, after the last amen, I felt a cool hand on my tummy. And I, the day, I didn't even understand. Now, I went back home. I was still praying, believing God. And then what happened? The following day, I didn't feel the pain. Until after the whole program, I didn't feel the pain. And I said I must ask myself before I now give this, this, this testimony. What happened is that before now, I don't eat pepper. I don't, I don't take aspirin. I don't take vitamin C. I don't take anything containing acid. But when after the crusade, I started examining it and taking all the things I never took. And to the glory of God till today, that problem has been over. So I want to encourage you, whatever is your problem, 
God himself asks you, put your trust in him and touch him. It is a divine touch. May the name of the Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus. And now we move from Calabar, South South Nigeria, to Edo State, South South Nigeria as well. Edo State Live. Move from Praise the Lord. We are here in Zipa Life Bible Church, and we have two of our sisters who the Lord have touched after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. My name is Vero Aikona. I'm from the GRA group of Christians, Edo State. I want to testify to the goodness of the Lord in my life for what happened for the last crusade. Signs are wonder. I came here with pain. That was the last day of the, of the crusade. As I was having pain, my two daughters were having the same pain. Right, hand, uh, right side of my stomach. The pain was so severe that my daughter was just running on the floor. It, she could not even stand up. But I left her and I came to crusade. After that they pray, after the last amen, I noticed that my whole pain is going down. I, I just praise the name of the Lord. Getting home, I saw that my daughter started walking in the kitchen, started doing everything. I was so happy because she, the pain was so severe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Esther Womakbe. I'm from GRA group of district, Deeper Life. My testimony goes like this. On Thursday, the first day of this program, as the man of God was praying, he said we should lay our right, we should lay our hands on wherever we are having our challenge. Then there is this side of my rib that used to pay me. I used to have pain there for years, for more than five years. So I laid my hands there. So that night when I got home, I was in a dream. I saw the man of God in a program, in a crusade. So as he came out of his waiting room, he cited me. He walked to me and he started ministry to me. Under the ministration, I fell down. He waited for me to gain my consciousness and he asked me, how about the pains now? I said, I no longer feel the pains. So since yesterday till now, that pain has disappeared. As if the devil is not happy about that. This morning, as I was coming down from my staircase, I missed my step and I fell down. So God be the glory, I am well. Nothing happened to me. May his name be glorified in Jesus' name. And, and next, we bring you a testimony from online. This one from Bornu State, Northeast Nigeria. Her name, Anna Peter. She had been experiencing abdominal pain for three years now but tonight something about that final amen she has received her healing and the pain has disappeared praise the lord peace okoronko online i've been having teary and itchy eyes and after the prayer of the man of god instantaneously she received her healing praise the lord autism autism a condition that affects speech has been taken away by the divine touch the lord did it the lord did it after the prayer of the man of god and they took the child for confirmation and confirmed the therapist said this is not the boy i saw autism is gone praise the lord margaret ruthwa for so long, she's been having difficulty in hearing from her right ear, right from her youthful days. But during the prayers tonight, 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 she can clearly hear. Praise the Lord. We move to Manchester in the United Kingdom, where Edith wrote, I got my healing this evening. Uzubo, uzubo, as they will say in Igbo language was having pain in a part of the body even before the prayer the pain was very serious but after the prayer of the man of god that pain 
vanished away. Praise the Lord. And now we have this coming all the way from Edo State also. Sister Jane, she received an instant threefold. Three. One, two, three. Severe ear pain, number one. Source in her mouth, number two. Stomach pain, number three. All vanished after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. And this one is coming in hot and live. A deaf woman in Iyaba has just begun to speak and to hear. This is happening live as we speak. And we will get the video for you as soon as we receive details. We move to the next. And now we have this all the way from Abuja. Another double full testimony. One, two. She has been having severe pains on her leg all through to her waist. And the doctors checked and prescribed drugs, but all to no avail. But on Thursday, the first night of the program, after the prayer of the man of God, after the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. And the second testimony is coming from her daughter. She had a very painful boil on her armpit. And yesterday, yesterday, just after the prayer of the man of God, the boil disappeared. This came live from Facebook, from the GS uh, Facebook page. Before we move on from UK, we have Esther Waka. She wrote, praise the Lord. Yesterday, I had severe pain in my right waist. But after the prayer of the man of God, I woke up in Plisto region in the UK and found out that the pain has vanished away. Do you remember the GS mentioned also while he was praying? And this is coming from E. Joma all the way from the United States of America. And she says, after the prayer of the man of God, that stomach also disappeared. And Adesha Simeon Wilhelm was healed from fever and typhoid in the same breath as the final amen came up. Praise the Lord. We now hand over to the state overseer. And together for Jesus. Amen. Divine touch for total. How many of us have been touched? You have been touched. You have been touched. And it's going to be permanent in Jesus' name. As the testimony is going on, and you describe your miracle, please come to all six. We still want to hear you. We have enough time. Want to hear your testimony. Can we please have the next one? Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I found Bo E.H. Guru. I know maybe I call up the Yomachine Kemere. Iya ne men kita. O rugo how many years? Iya ne men. Man ye bidoka ma ngogu. Even our HOD ma makaya. Sometimes ye bido like this. Ama aga ma ma ye ne men. Then oga bi bi bere me bere. Then I will I will be as in real a bit relief. Man anka me muti kanga cha school. Eben na ror. Obia every day on a yemunsu. Like if I touch it, Metia Kodika ebe on Madun were a wound. Metia Kone womb, one my friends here. A more me fenemem. Mm. My heart is paining me. A simo I should not worry that it will stop. One early morning like that. Ara homora na ba ne worry fenemem. Kachi for on sick and tetana bed. I was unable to stand up. I started crying. Na boy, I see a biko, a mommy fen mm. My heart, my heart. On a simogini me kwan, you know, see a obi mo, a moro me fen mm. On never, 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 kwan, see a biko, or my mommy and my daddy, let them pray for me. Or bokwa and my daddy pray for me. Since that day, rich na, mkan a bogu, as in, a we call ge si bidom, ma bogu. Mana on Thursday, Meme pe 
I went online. So that day I saw uh, my dad's in the law. Obuna Obiarugone Nuku State and Fuya Obuna Anasi, our dad in the Lord is now in airport. That happiness, I was rejoicing, shouting. Say hi, thank you, Jesus. My dad in the Lord have arrived. Immediately, that shouting and everything. Ozika, Oye as in Oye were a mirror you wanna. I was I was healed. This healing, you see aha. Oh my god, this night. Okay, let me leave you. Friday, the healing is there. Today, the same healing is there. I can touch my heart. I can cough now. I cannot cough out blood again. I'm now healed. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. She started having some severe pain on the chest. Gone to the hospital. Prayers have been made. Say so whenever you touch her heart, the chest, severe pain and sometimes he vomits she vomits blood but on wednesday when she opened the facebook to see that her daddy her father in the lord have arrived Enugu, he was so happy he started jumping and rejoicing instantly the pain disappeared the problem was gone since that time till now no more Vomiting abroad, no more chest pain. Just seen on the Facebook, our Father in the Lord has come, and tonight is seated, and He has ministered to you. Your problem is gone. So check up as you describe your problem. You know your miracle. Come to hall since many are still coming. Join them. Let's listen to the next one. Praise the Lord. My, my name is Ede Daniel. I, have been ha I, just sta I started having epilepsy. Uh, it's, it's just like conversion that started from 2016. Then it, after, a pre after a program that I went, the conversion reduced. But it happens like anything that I'm holding in my hands. If I have the shocking, the shock, that as I'm holding this mic, it will fall down. And that makes me to be taking the drugs every day. But from Thursday, I didn't take the drugs. I didn't take the drugs on Friday. And I have never had the shocking. Put your hand together for Jesus. I've been suffering from epilepsy since 2016. And also, whenever he holds something, he drops. But after the prayer of man of God on Thursday, he have not taken his drug now. Everything is gone and it's going to be permanent. Brother, it's going to be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. The next testifier, please. Turn to Chineka. Evamu Christiano Wakwe. Esmani Lili John. Bia. Iva ma Chineka Merum Dua Koloko. Iva ma Chineka Merum Bo. Alu no na we pray. Mubi anado. Bebi na gide. Yangu live koni teluna. Eh, mubi aje kujewan ahune nas. Now, some shim noka, Ako, Maritana, your chinaka, share my joy, you are a voa, and did I become down on a bo, a cosa evoma, Mutinaka, and I become my bocuna, camp ground, now so boma, free so for come now, now she got a new yosa, Nadikam Gabiaba, name for any name to me, no Gabiana Gerebe, I did go in my nine member neck paper in time. Be them none and now ever neck paper. Yadu give up, Musa ni tell him nay. Go and live a bell, will make them never. Make them a GGG. Nick on your one, she did not name my city. Oh, you have been to neighbor, you have your Quasiaka. She tell you, she will be a cavalier type, yellow way about. She did a canoe for Hunter Bookin. Namana home is to take him. Dick in a stibem. 
and oya we melume di ka na ekwe ekwele na si amen o mu ne nu mu na musalum ke na chineke na ma fu ku ibo oso na ehum oso chineke gwal me fam put your hand together for jesus she had hernia swollen by the side that have been there for some time now and he, he consulted a medical people they say you need an operation and she said how oh, how can i go under the knife and she came here after the prayer of the man of god the swollen disappear and all the pains are gone put your hands together for jesus as you discover your own miracle please join the many are still coming out join them we'll take your own testimony the next person before we go to online don't you know now i we met a we met a baby. I am the deep life. We be we be near him here. Ni man any child can walk and be done. Watch up with ya. Ya have ya no knock with him. No come, no come, no show me again. We put a baby crusade there. That I came met the maker. Jesus we met the maker. Ni knock with him. Put your hand together for Jesus. Amen. She lost her husband two years ago. It's after the burial. She started having some problem around the neck area swollen and as if the thing is breathing. But she came with it to this crusade after the prayer tonight the lord touched that thing it disappeared now no more problem is that your crapping jam your hand together for jesus we we'll go to online to take some other testimony before we come back live he said the something was two Wonders. months ago wonders are happening online remember you heard the choir from bene republic right there in bene republic a herbalist left the kingdom of satan and gave his life to jesus christ that is the man after giving his life to jesus christ yesterday just after the js ministration something happened today what happened today as an evidence of true, genuine conversion. He brought out all his charms and they were destroyed. Look at them, look at them, powerless, useless, all wasted. Praise the Lord. No doubt about it, all other gods are the works of men. The almighty God is the most powerful. Next is UAE from the United Arab Emirates. We have Sister Fumilola who wrote that she was feeling serious headache but after the prayer of the man of God tonight, that headache, that severe headache, simply is gone and disappeared. Praise the Lord. And this is coming all the way from Maryland in USA. He says his name is Amen. He has always had this pain as well as a bit of swelling in the left part of the chest for two years. But today, after the prayer of the man of God, divine touch came upon that place, and the pain is gone. And next, we take you to another great miracle that has happened, and this one is from Lagos. Feishola from Lagos, Badore Group, wrote, I want to testify to the Lord of how God healed me. She said she had painful swelling in the armpits. Painful and very excruciating. That painful swelling went down. After the prayer of the man of God. It had been there for two weeks. It was smelling. But after the prayer, 
that spots, that swelling simply dried up. Praise the Lord. And now we go straight to Bayelsa as Emmanuel Patani, he has been having a kind of sharp pain in his chest for three months. But as the Lord will have it, after the prayer of the man of God, the pain in the chest disappeared. And now we return to the state's overseer. Praise the Lord. <laughs> 